Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Prismata. Let's get started with some more casual matches as usual. Next reward. These are, this is not wins in a row, right? No, we had some losses, okay. There's no way we have seven wins in a row. <laughs> I still lose about half my games, even against bots. Um, Life Coach is streaming, that's cool. Um, actually, I... I very briefly did stream Prismata on Twitch. Um, I was streaming Dominion at the time. Oh look, it's Epic Rusher, the bot again. Okay. Uh, we're player one. So we have a pretty natural Blast Forge opening into like, what exactly? Maybe, maybe Flame Animus and Sinestra with like Flame Animus being our only red is a kind of cool idea. Um, and I, I'd like some green, of course. Of course, we'd also like a second blue to get drakes, maybe? That's a pretty high economy. Maybe I should've, no. I don't think we can support going super high econ here. So now I kind of have my choice. What single tech building would I like here? Um, I think a Blast Forge is the right choice. Actually, maybe I should do this. Start building up some green. Uh, I can spend my blue on an ebb turbine, which is sort of like buying two drones, right? Um, or I can get the flame animus. So what if I got Ebb Turbine? Ebb, Tur Ebb Turbine is six. That's awkward. <sighs> because I'd like to be able to squeeze in like an Animus and a Conduit next turn or something. Or I don't, not another Conduit. Hmm. I don't want an Animus. I want a Flame Animus. So maybe I should get like Flame Animus, Conduit next turn, and then like immediate Sinestras. I don't have the economy for that. I don't have enough drones. Maybe the conduit's too ambitious, and I should get another drone. Not ambitious, it's too aggressive is what it is. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, he's not building an attacker. It looks like he's going for maybe Sinestras. Um, I would kind of like something like this. Like, he, he can threaten a Sinestra next turn, which is, like, a problem. But a single Sinestra is not a big deal. The big deal is if you get a lot of them. So I might do something like this. Um, I won't be able to build a Sinestra next turn because I won't have any green. But next turn, I'll have four, and the turn after I'll have six. On the other hand, I won't have any red either, so maybe that's a bit silly. I'm building a wall next turn anyway, right? Since I assume he's building a Sinestra. So maybe I just do this. Get a bit more economy. Yeah, there's the Sinestra we expected. If I build one more Conduit next this turn, then next turn I can build Sinestra... I can't quite build Sinestra Wall if I build an Engineer as well, which I kind of need to do. Um... He's probably going to want to build a Rhino next turn. And he can't really build much else, honestly. Um, so he'll be attacking for four next turn, right? So I'll want two Engineers. And if I do this, then I can't build Sinestra Wall. I'll have to build, like, Sinestra something else. Or maybe nothing else. Maybe what I'm supposed to do is build a drone together with all this. Then I can just build, like, Sinestra NG or something. But I expect him to attack for four. Which is fine. I'll have the two engineers for that. I think I can afford to squeeze out this one more drone. And then I can build Sinestra NG next turn. Or maybe Sinestra Force Field or something like that, depending. Oh, 
Ooh, he built a rhino as well. That's not very nice. I can't Sinestra Force Field. Ugh, I forgot. I don't have any green. Uh, but I think it's important for me to get out a Sinestra now. Uh, his defense is going to be quite poor because he doesn't have walls. And he probably won't attack with the Rhino, right? I expect him to only attack for four, so this drone won't get killed. But I don't think I can afford to... Maybe I can click it. Can I offer him this, this breach? If he takes it, I'm threatening four attack. No, he can still defend. He could build two rhinos, or like rhino force field, hold drone or something. This is too aggressive. I can't do this. Yeah, indeed, he attacked with everything. Even though I didn't offer him the gambit. Imagine how pleased he'd be if I had, right? I still can't quite get Sinestra Wall, which is what I really want. Maybe I should just build these two engineers and then plan a Sinestra by itself? I don't know if I can afford that either. Do I have to not build Tarsier? I don't like that. I really want to threaten some more Breach. Ah, next turn I can... No, if I... I'll only have three green, so when I Sinestra, I won't be able to force field. I don't like the idea of him uh, exploiting me here by attacking for six, um, which I expect him to do. But I can't hold back a drone to prevent it unless I do this. Which is not really that great. I think he just will exploit me, and that's like... Okay, fine. I just need to get as much economy as I can to be able to push out another Sinestra. If I don't get to build a second Sinestra, I don't think I'll be able to, to kill him. Yeah, there he goes. And he's keeping as much... Oh my god. This second Sinestra is, like, ridiculously ambitious. Never gonna happen. Okay, fine. Well, one, two... So he has to lose at least one attacker, right? And his rhinos are getting tired. All I have to do... I was saying, if I don't build another Sinestra, I won't be able to hurt him, but... I think I just have to wait for his rhinos to run out of steam. Hopefully. Instead of this engineer, should I be, like, force fielding to let me keep a rhino alive and attack with that? Because then I'll be threatening six attack next turn, which is pretty uncomfortable for him. I think this is better. Yeah, so one more Sinestra is never going to happen, but he's now defending. Hang on, I don't even need this force field, do I? No. He's losing one attacker here at least. Well, exactly one, I guess. Which means he's attacking for seven, which is rhino wall wall. So I don't need this engineer. I could hold back the money. This lets me threaten another Sinestra if he doesn't put on enough pressure. I expect he will, but this means that, like... Hmm... I guess he's probably going to attack with everything anyway, right? Because he's... These two rhinos are staying back whether they like it or not, so he can afford to uh, to attack with everything. So I should assume he will. Threatening the Sinestra, I think, is a phantom. It's not actually going to happen. Oh, are we breaching anyway? Hang on. If we breach like this, we can kill his Sinestra. Oh, Sinestra only has two health. I thought it had three. Well, go back to the defense again. Ah! Okay. There we go. 
It has three attack, but two health, right. And now he's just no longer ever doing anything, and I can just build um, anything I want, really. Should resign any second now, right? I would, but I mean, I guess he's a computer, so maybe he doesn't realize how bad things are. He's attacking for five, which is fine. Being able to squeeze in another attacker in the middle of this, like... When you when you go from defending with everything to suddenly like, oh, I'll just build another attacker. Like, I don't know. That's, that's a pretty strong signal that the game is over. Um, a human would have resigned by now. Yeah, here he comes. Okay. So what happened in this game? I mean, his his turn one conduit is is certainly interesting. It's threatening to get a Sinestra out relatively early, and indeed he does get it out as as fast as you can on turn four. But like, I have blue, right? One Sinestra doesn't do anything; it just kills an engineer per turn. It's not great. So he needs to be able to threaten more, and so he, he tries. He goes for Gauss Cannon Rhino, um, and makes me hold back a drone. And things are awkward for me for a little while, but I actually don't even have that many more drones than he does, right? Like, I have 13, he has 12? I guess the trick is I continued to build drones, and I have access to blue. That actually was a big deal. Being able to build those walls um, made things a lot better for me than for him. I guess that's the main issue, is like, there's two things. One is... He went for the early Sinestro, where you would prefer to get, like, say, two Tarsiers early to force your opponent to wall, and only then build the Sinestra when, like, the extra pressure is relevant. Or maybe, like, build two Tarsiers, and then as they're finishing, build the Sinestra or something, right? Sinestra's single turn build is only meaningful if her attack does something on the first turn. So I had access to more... The same amount of drones, but more tech. More defensive and attacking options. Um, now here, I had nearly the same thing with a Sinestro. My Sinestro is almost my first attacker, right? So don't, don't I have the same problem as he did? And the answer is no, because he doesn't have access to blue, so he's only absorbing with Rhino. And that means my Flame Animus is nullifying his absorb. All of Sinestro's damage is real when I build it. Um... When my opponent builds Sinestra, two of that damage is just wasted every turn against the wall. And, you know, fine, he builds the Gauss Cannon then, and, like, it starts doing stuff, but... Ideally, you don't want me to be absorbing all this. Um, and he never was able to build any permanent attackers behind the Sinestra, because he invested so much of his early economy into getting that first Sinestra. He just had to build Rhinos. Um, I think you clearly want blue in this set, even if you're using Sinestra as your attacker. All right, uh, let's see. We should be able to play another game. Any minute now. It's always a good chance to get in, get in a little stretch in between games, even if it means I sound a little funny on YouTube. <sighs> I guess I could mute myself, but I feel like I ought to be talking even though I sound dumb. What's under learn, anyway? No, nothing. Just press Q. Sounds like another drone, but who knows? Could be a person. Wow. Chrono Filter seems really good in this set. To let you get, like, Odin without having to commit to a third blue, maybe to help you get Ice Blades or something. I think we're obviously going blue-red. It's just a question of how. Um... We could do something really silly. By the way, Chrono Filter used to cost five. Interesting that it costs four now. We could do this. This is really silly. I could build an Ice Blade next turn. Um, and it would kill an Engineer. I don't think it's a good idea. I think this is better. Into, like, getting an Animus and then... Like, some Tarsiers and... I'd like to get Blood Ragers going. One Blood Rager, anyway. It's sort of often hard to justify more than one. 
Well, what if I did do this, but tried to build something a little bit more efficient than an Ice Blade Golem? Like Tarsier Steel Splitter? No, then I'm not building any drones. That's silly. We'll just build all the drones and, and get to that silly stuff later. Um, I'm looking at DD8 this turn, right? Yeah. Could build the Chrono Filter now. Then I could I could get a wall to defend against his Animus while still putting down a Tarsier to start threatening him. Um, and that costs me nine. I would have five left to build, say, a Blast Forge or another drone. Seems okay. Yeah, maybe a Blast Forge, and then I could build a Drake. I kind of like this. I don't know. I, I, it's probably not actually good. <laughs> okay, so he's just built Tarsiers. So he's not actually threatening to attack me this turn, so I don't really want to build a wall. I could build an Ice Blade, which seems pretty good against pure red, because it threatens a lot of breach pressure. Um, and I'm building a wall here, or a, a Blast Forge, so that I can wall next turn when the Tarsiers actually uh, come in. Now, is Ice Blade really the best thing to do with my blue and my red? I could build just Tarsier Wall, and then I would cut the Blast Forge, right? But I think it's really useful to get an attacker in while my opponent is unable to defend against it. He could build a Rhino, but we can freeze the Rhino and still kill an Engineer. That's why this is so good against, like, pure red, I think. Um, and I want the Blast Forge. Yeah, okay. I think this is fine. I don't know if it's best, but it seems fine. Yeah, there's the Rhino, but we freeze it, so we still get to kill an Engineer. We build a wall. And uh, he's threatening three next turn, and then probably something like six, if I had to guess. Next turn, I'll build a Drake, and what? I won't be able to get that Blood Rager for a long time, if ever, but that's fine. He's going with a strategy where Blood Rager is not that good. If he Blood Rager is better against blue than against red, because they have more absorb. So paying the, th the three attack, you can often refuse to give your opponent any absorb. Against red, you'd rather just keep hitting them. Um, so what else do I do? Right now I have 12 drones and he has 11, so I'm a little bit ahead on that. But I need to find a way, like... Suppose that I'm building a Drake next turn. That's $12. That's all of the drones I have available right now. So the $9 I have now are sort of the same $9 I'll have available next turn. Um, except that next turn I'll have a red available, and this turn I don't. So maybe I should do something like... Drone, drone... Actually, maybe I should just build another Ice Blade next turn. No, I like the Drake. Drake is a big deal against red, again, as we saw previously. So if I build Drake here, I'll have four bucks left I could build a Tarsier with. I think I'd rather do like this and be able to Rhino, because I kind of expect him to threaten a lot of attack. Rhino, Drake, yeah. Okay, let's try that. Wow, he chooses not to attack. I should have seen that coming, actually. It's a good play. Um, but I didn't I didn't notice it coming. Um, he, he spent his three attack on getting a Blood Rager. Obviously a good play. Um, and he's, he's going to make life difficult for me, that's for sure. I hope that the Drake threatens enough Breach that he can't actually... The, the, the Drake plus the ice, ice Blade denying him all of his Absorb. Okay, so he kills the Ice Blade. That's fine with me, honestly. Uh, I, I'll happily trade my Drake, my Blast Swords, for his Rhino. So he's only actually attacking for 7 next turn. 
Uh, we're not attacking with the Rhino because he would just absorb the damage. And let's build like... Actually, maybe I should do this? No, I don't have red this turn. Um, replace the Blast Forge. Get two NGs. See if I can get away with another Drake next turn, although probably not. Maybe. If I hold the Rhino, I probably can. So here he's losing one attacker, which means I can do this to threaten with the Drake if I really want to. It seems good. I lose my Blast Forge, however, so I won't be able to build any defenders next turn. That's sort of a problem. And I'm also wasting my red, ugh. So maybe we don't click this. Then he just loses a drone, which I don't like at all. This makes him lose a drone and a Rhino. Like, I think my Blast Forge is worth more than his uh, Rhino. It's just a problem of what am I doing with my money this turn? And I guess the answer is not Drake, apparently. Maybe I do like this. Get the Ice Blade back involved. Now I don't have to hold the drone anymore. But then I can't build anything next turn. I don't have any tech this way. I need to find a way to work a Blast Forge into the build, which has to be this, right? But is a Blast Forge really better than a wall? Like, in a way it is. But if it's all it's if all it's letting me do is build another wall, I might as well build the wall next turn. This turn. I guess what it's doing is letting me threaten to keep attacking and still get the wall up. Yeah, maybe this is better. And shit. I did half of one play and half of the other, I got it wrong. I was supposed to not hold a drone. I meant to Ugh. Now he has to lose two attackers. Ugh, but I can't do anything. I can't do this because I... Ugh. I mean, there's the breach, but... I mean, I kind of need to do this. He gets to kill eight drones, which is not, I would say, ideal. But I'm, I'm doing a lot to him as well, right? If I just have seven bucks next turn, what can I do? I don't need another Blast Forge, I'm getting the Chrono Filter. Let's just do this, and I can build like an Ice Blade next turn. Oh man, I don't like where this has gone. Let's build another Blast Forge so we threaten the attack. We breach again, and I can wall, and Blast Forge. I think that we're getting the better of this exchange, but it's very uncomfortable for me. Yeah, okay. At this time, I think I still want to click Drake, because it kills two drones, basically, in exchange for my Blast Forge. Now it kills an expired Rhino, which is not so amazing. Let's build another Ice Blade. And a drone. Hang on. Why am I freezing his Rhino? Let's freeze a drone. Now he has to lose a Rhino. That's two health. And clicking a blast, uh, a Drake actually kills another Rhino in this scenario, which is maybe fine. Um, but then I lose my Blast Forge, which I, I don't really want to do. I'd like the opportunity to keep building walls and or Ice Blades or whatever. Uh, this shouldn't be a drone, it should be an NG. I'm going to need to defend with it real soon. 
So we could freeze one wall, but that doesn't really accomplish much. If I instead freeze, like, a Rhino... Uh, maybe I freeze both drones? No, that's exactly the defense he wants to make. Yeah, I guess freezing like this is pretty good, because he has to lose a Rhino or a drone? Two drones? Yeah, this is fine. Now he has to lose a wall or two drones. That's... Now he has to lose specifically a wall. I guess that's fine. Um... I'll just build another wall, and I could build another engineer, but if I, if I hold, I can build Ice Blade plus wall next turn, which is pretty cool. Although, maybe I shouldn't do this, because I'll need more engineers to defend soon. I need more attackers. We're not really doing anything between the two of us here, right? Oh, I breach. That's pretty good. Yeah, because I freeze the wall, I get to kill all this other stuff. Okay, and I build another ice blade so I can threaten to freeze more stuff. Okay, we overrun and kill the Tarsiers, and now we've got him. Even though I don't have any tech <laughs> this turn. There we go. No, let's let's build a blast forge and then drone in. Thank you, just press Q. I'm very flattered that a robot would say I played well. <laughs> Alright, so why did this work? What was the idea? I think that committing to pure red in a set with Ice Blades and Drakes is pretty dangerous. Um, especially with Chrono Filter to... Well, I didn't use Chrono Filter eff effectively at all, right? Like That is to say, I didn't use it efficiently. Um, I effectively used it. It definitely did occur that it was used by me in effect, but it was not effectful. Um, Sort of two different meanings of the word, effectively. Uh, so I did not use it very efficiently. My life might have been easier if I had not uh, gone for it. But it was just so tempting to get that first Ice Blade out to deny him Absorb uh, and kill an Engineer, right? Like, twice in a row it got to kill an Engineer. I don't understand... Oh, I see. He held back a drone here because if he doesn't... No. I actually see no reason at all to hold a drone. This is very puzzling to me. In what scenario would you choose to defend with a drone here? Like, sometimes when Ice Blade is freezing, things can be a bit weird, but... I can't imagine... I think that he just tried to defend for one more than I was attacking for, but since I can freeze his only absorber, that's just silly. Right? He just threw away a dollar. I've seen them do this correctly in the past, the bots, that is, and so I'm a little confused as to why they would do it incorrectly here. Oh, that's cool. So I, I learned, by the way, you can look at your opponent's um, supplies, uh, like see... The default, I believe, used to be that you could only see one row of these supply counters, and so you would see how many walls you had, but like, to see how many your opponent had, you had to hit control to like, see their side of things. And I didn't realize until now that hitting control also lets you see your opponent's skins. He doesn't have drones, he has ninja drones, or whatever they're called. Anyway, I noticed that. I was like, why is the Odin flashing? It was because it shows a different skin. This is my opponent's Odin, and this is my Odin. I must have gotten some weird Odin skin. Anyway, I think it was a big mistake to hold this drone back. The uh, Blood Rager was definitely the right play, and I didn't see it coming. Too bad. Um, but... Ice Blade and Drake both threaten so much breach, and oh, that's right—he killed my Ice Blade. And Red really hates to be breached, um, so they also hate having to over defend to avoid a breach. Every dollar counts. So I think that that was sort of the, the main problem that he had was going pure red against. 
two units that are both good against red. Um, I definitely made a number of mistakes, like I didn't manage my Blast Forge well or my Chrono Filter. I think I, I definitely, some of the times I clicked the Blast Forge was right, but I don't know if all of them were right and maybe I missed some as well. Because the Drake being able to use a Blast Forge for extra damage is, is a huge deal. I remember Drakes used to deal three damage, right? And they cost a bunch more. They were like 16, maybe, and, and two blue. I don't remember. Uh, anyway, they seem pretty cool as they are now. They're as effective as buying two Steel Splitters, except that you can threaten extra damage uh, by sacking Blast Forges. So anyway, at the point when I like had no tech at all was pretty uncomfortable, and when I had to let him breach me, it was a real problem. Uh, but I was able to rebuild enough defense and a Blast Forge behind that. So at this point, I was thinking for a moment he could have killed my Drake. I should have paid more attention to what he can breach, because if he kills my Drake, I think I'm toast. I happened to defend for just enough that he can't kill my Drake, but this wasn't on purpose. I didn't consider that possibility. I was like, well, I guess he's going to breach and kill a bunch of drones. Um, could he have somehow defended differently to... No, he didn't get to defend. I breached. Whew, close call, actually. If he had one extra damage, he would have killed the Drake, and I think I'd lose then. But with the Drake and the Ice Blade, you know, you guys saw how this sort of crumbled for him. We were able to get some good exploits off. I think he over-defended once or twice as well. Um, but, yeah, we're able to start rebuilding while he's still crumbling, and uh, he gives up. Well, I hope that was fun. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.